Well, here we have our 2009 MacBook Pro that we're going to be changing out a few things. We've already snapped in our RAM, right? We were changed our battery out because that wasn't working very well any longer. And we're going to swap out this old super slow 160 gigabyte hard drive for this super fast SSD drive. That's only 480 gigabytes, but that's plenty for what we're using. Um, I did have to buy this set of things. Uh, altogether, it was about $140. So to revive a dead laptop, it was well worth the money. So it took about an hour to clone the drive and uh, a few minutes really to pop open the case and clean it out and we're gonna change this right now and that should be pretty simple. So let's see how that goes. All right, so we've got a little bit of a bird's eye view going here since I don't have a proper camera set up and I'm just using my iPhone for this video. First thing we want to do is pop this battery. All right, because we don't want to have any problems with the power being connected and me touching something with something metal. So I've got this plastic puller here. I've got a few of them, in fact. This one, yes, works maybe just a little bit better. It's able to pry this out, so that disconnects the battery. And I believe I have to pull these four torques and swap it with that ribbon cable. So, that okay and then we're going to remove these torques out before lifting it up. Probably didn't have to undo that. So there's the old hard drive. Solid state being replaced right here with this old mechanical SATA drive is a very slow. these pins on the side here. That's 
so it's gonna hold our drive in place. free surface because my wife does a wonderful job of cleaning no matter how much mess I make so we're gonna install these onto the new hard drive second piece of crucial equipment that I've purchased. The first easy upgrade I did to my 2014 Mac Mini. That was a nice easy snap-in upgrade. I didn't go crazy and take apart the whole thing and remove the old hard drive. I just added 500 gigs of crucial snap-in SSIE or whatever the acronym is. Great, easy installation. Didn't have to go too far. And then I have the old, old ancient hard drive still in there that I could use for backup or later down the road I could redo that or upgrade the one thing to a terabyte, I mean, it's just so versatile. But I was really frustrated with that Mac Mini, and that's what got me looking into doing an upgrade like this. Because I didn't really want to buy a new computer, everything else was working fine. I actually had space on the hard drive. It was just slower than slow could be. So see I just put that right in there snap the cable on there I'm gonna screw these retainer clips back in you can see what I'm doing here it that is a pretty simple upgrade now a lot of people will replace this CD drive with a whole another um, memory bank or SSD has a whole cradle and everything but I'm not gonna go that far I sort of like having a CD for something a DVD uh, for the old stuff old media lying around so yeah, this was really, really great. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning on this and pop that back on and put all the little screws in here, which you've seen a thousand times. So that's about it. I'll do a little startup video.
this is a startup video. I'm gonna show how much we've increased the speed of this ancient old MacBook Pro. Hey there. So if you have a MacBook Pro or a Mac Mini laying around that you just gave up on because it was too slow, there's things that you can do to save yourself a lot of money and make an old piece of gear useful, efficient, fast, and everything you needed to be in the first place. So yeah, thanks for watching. And good luck on your own project.